Hello all you action fans, I'm Ruby J and today we're looking at a toy brand that is a blast. Err, I'm talking about Nerf. Nerf is a global phenomenon. In fact, almost half a billion Nerf darts are made every year. Let's check out all the hits and misses this company made on its way to nailing the bullseye. This is what they got right with Nerf. Take aim and fire, it's a full blasted fight. We talking about nerve, this is what they got right. Nerf's beginning goes all the way back to the cavemen. Kind of. When the inventor, Ren Geyer, was testing out his new caveman themed game, him and his team realized that the game itself wasn't that much fun. But throwing the game's foam rocks at each other was a blast. Me throw rocks that! Don't hurt! Geyer quickly realized he had something special. A ball game that could be played indoors without breaking anything. The same thing cannot be said for you. Basketball. Geyer and his team fashioned a volleyball type game that could be played inside. The company Parker Brothers wasn't a fan of the game, but they thought the ball itself was a total ace. And thus, Nerf was started. But before the end strikes, vortexes, and rivals, there was just a four inch Nerf ball. To throw or not to throw, that is the question. In 1989, Nerf introduced its first blaster. But don't go on the attack just yet. The first blaster only shot one ball at a time. Revolutionary for the time, but something tells me that would be pretty useless against the Hailfire. Pretty soon after that, Nerf had a huge hit with the bow and arrow. And then, a year later, they shrunk those arrows down and released the sharpshooter, the first blaster with darts. Speaking of sharpshooters, what can I say? I've got a gift. It hasn't all been direct hits, though. Over the years, Nerf has gone in a few interesting directions. Take the Nerfles, a line of action figures based off of the Nerf balls. Let's just say they looked kind of weird. <sighs> Whoops. I think the Nerfles might have heard me. Sorry for calling you weird. Nerf also sold night vision goggles. Those would come in handy when tracking the most dangerous Nerf target of all, the sleeping younger sister. But the strangest thing that Nerf put out was its own body wash products? Nerf body wash for when you need to smell like fresh foam darts. Just kidding, it had a citrus scent. Soaps aside, Nerf has always gone back to what makes it great. Super fun sports balls and blasters. This has helped make Nerf a huge success. In fact, Nerf sells $400 million worth of product every year. Not too bad for a failed caveman game. Thanks for watching What They Got Right. What should I talk about next? Let me know below with a comment. Then, click up there to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for new videos every single day. Until next time, I'm Ruby J, and watch out. <laughs>